Well, Donald Trump says the U.S. needs to get tougher on terrorists, saying that we should bring back a controversial interrogation tactic. Listen. You know, they don't use waterboarding over there. They use chopping off people's heads. They use drowning people. I don't know if you've seen with the cages, where they put people in cages and they drown them in the ocean and then they lift out the cage. And we're talking about waterboarding. So you we bring back be waterboarding? Tough. We have to. I would. I would bring it back. Yes, I would bring it back. I think waterboarding is peanuts compared to what they do to us. What they're doing to us. What they did to James Foley when they chopped off his head. That's a whole different level. And I would absolutely bring back uh, interrogation. New polls also showing Donald Trump dominating on this question: Who do voters most trust? to handle the issue of terrorism in this country. Donald Trump gets 42 percent. That's well above where he polls in the general uh, poll about the presidency, which is around 28 percent. 42 percent want him to answer the call to deal with the issue of terrorism in this country. George, uh, excuse me, Jeb Bush at 18 percent, Rubio at 13, Carson at 10, and Cruz is at 9. Let's bring in our panel today. Katie Pavlik is the news editor for townhall.com and a Fox News contributor. Marian Marsh is former senior advisor to Secretary John Kerry. Um, you know, you listen to that, that soundbite about waterboarding, mm -hmm. and you listen to what he's saying and what he talks about in terms of James Foley and the dunking of people in cages, and they come up lifeless. Um, Marianne, it is obvious that that is resonating with a lot of people when it comes to these polls. Well, in the Republican primary, no doubt. I mean, no one has more solid support than Donald Trump. He's not going to erode. In fact, it's clear he'll probably gain from this. No question about it. I think the really important thing to look for here is, does Donald Trump start to take true swing voters, independents, in a state like New Hampshire? If he does that, it signals basically the end for Rubio, Kasich, and Bush to win New Hampshire. And it could signal that if national security remains the, the top issue as it is today, whereas economy, as Bill referenced earlier, has been the, the leading issue, and I think it's too early to say, is New Hampshire a true swing state and in more in play than it might be already? I think that's the thing to look for, that Donald Trump, who no one's been able to knock down, including himself, his supporters are diehard supporters, and he's probably only going to gain more in the next few weeks as a result, despite his policy position on this, that someone like I disagree mm -hmm. with, but a lot of Republicans and others, I think, le Republican-leaning independents will agree with, too. Yeah, I think that Marianne's touching on something really important in the general election as well, mm -hmm. Katie, um, and that is, you know, the pulling over of independents and some Democrats. You know, we saw 47 Democrats um, vote, uh, you know, in favor of not allowing Syrian refugees into this country. So th there's there are people in the middle for whom this is pretty, it's talking to them very loudly, Katie. Well, of course, because uh, despite what maybe some people in Washington may think, particularly in the White House, the American people, both Democrats, Independents, and Republicans, also like they they understand that we are at war, and they want someone in the Oval Office who also accepts that that sobering reality of the fact that we're at war. And when Donald Trump talks about bringing back waterboarding, I think it's really important to point out why that's important. Is because it's not about comparing us to what ISIS is doing. We have higher standards than that because we are the United. States of America, but the bottom line is that waterboarding and enhanced interrogation techniques work to keep Americans safe. It not only got us um, the ability to take down top al-Qaeda leaders, including Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and uh, Osama bin Laden, but it also gave us the ability to stop attacks that were in the planning stages. And when you look at what happened in Paris recently, Beirut and Mali, people are really sitting down and saying, okay. The first things first, we can't do anything else with our lives unless we're safe, and we need someone in the Oval Office who takes the fact that we yeah. are at war seriously, and that enhanced interrogation has kept this country safe, and it needs to be safe moving forward. All right, let, let's bring up this poll. Uh, the most important issue facing the country, and as we've said, economy is generally, pretty much in every election, that's always going to be number one. Pocketbook issues are always number one. But now you've got terrorism at 24 percent. And you look at, you know, Hillary Clinton on the other side of the fence here, who's going to be very closely aligned with the policies of President Obama on this issue. Um, and you've got Donald mm -hmm. Trump saying that he wants to surveil mosques. He wants to reinstate a program that was in effect in New York and New Jersey, where they were allowed to investigate mosques if they thought that they were, you know, particular mosques that were hotbeds where radicals were hanging out. And, you know, why shouldn't they be able to do that, Marianne? 
Well, I think a couple things here, Martha. First and foremost, uh, waterboarding doesn't work. So I just want to correct Katie on that. I mean, the yes, fact it does. is, the CIA. You know, I don't want to get into Diane, the dispute over CIA. that. Honestly, <laughs> I understand that you're well, both on doesn't. different sides okay. of it, um, and many people well, are. But Katie believes that it did work, and she's back so in the Mary and, and, and the, so in the CIA, said, right. Diane Feinstein and, and Khalid Mashik Mohammed, it did not work. Number one. Number two. <laughs> Hillary Clinton okay. gave a well. Well, those are facts. Okay. It's Hillary not a Clinton fact. gave a, a very impressive speech. Uh, oh, Katie, you're better mm -hmm. than that. That's not true. Just mm -hmm. go check the facts. Check the report that talk came out of the CIA Intelligence about Committee it, chaired by talk, yeah. talk to the CIA, I, yeah. the partisan report that the CIA debunked <laughs> multiple times. Six uh, top-ranking no. officials at the CIA said it was an attack that was no. not true. They provided the evidence that they took down top al-Qaeda leaders. It absolutely Di worked. Di you and it's cannot a shame praise the Diane has Feinstein on one away. day and condemn her on the other when I, she's I'm saying not, we should I'm do more in this fight and that. So the CIA absolutely said, and especially in the, in the, the instance of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and the architects of 9-11, waterboarding did not work. All right, but that you know what? There were other people who were involved and who were in the room in some cases who believe that it actually was the right. thing that put, them, that put him over the edge and, and forced him to divulge some information. Like I said, let, let's move on. Um, you know, in <laughs> okay. terms of Hillary Clinton, you know, it's interesting to hear yeah. from Leon Panetta uh, that he wants stronger leadership. I mean, I, I, you have to wonder if he is trying to sort of in some ways, help Hillary Clinton set herself apart from yeah. President Obama well, here. You know, Martha, I think you have to look at Hillary Clinton's. I'm sorry. Marianne, go ahead. I think you have to look at you have to look at Hillary Clinton's speech last week, which got rave reviews by everybody, and then Leon Panetta, which who was more aggressive than the president has been, frankly, uh, in her speech and in terms of the approach she would take on the war on terror. I think that was clear. When you have Leon Panetta coming in, when they served together in the Obama administration, you have to believe and read between the lines here that both of them may be advocated for some stronger actions, some stronger policies. That when you're part of an administration, you're not going to say publicly, but now. Now they're starting yeah, to that, say. That's so definitely I think the that's line the interesting that is being thing there. created. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, Katie, just one more thought on this mosque surveillance issue. Mm -hmm. Well, look, you know, people try to focus on the issue of the mosque, but the bottom line is that we need to pursue terrorists wherever they are, whether that's uh, meeting at the local supermarket or whether it's meeting uh, in, in the mosque. And it was effective before. Unfortunately, they, they took it away. And it's not about the mosque. It's about uh, fighting radical terrorism wherever it lies. And that's something very important to point out. And to follow up real quickly on your, your point about Hillary Clinton, Martha, look, Hillary is going to have a very hard time distancing herself from President Obama, and this is why. You have to remember that the president in 2000 12 was claiming that al-Qaeda was on the run when they weren't. You have the president saying that ISIS was a JV team. They weren't. He said they were contained just hours before the Paris attacks. And people feel like they've been lied to by their government, by the White House, about the status of terrorism in the world and with the country. And they mm -hmm. want someone who's going to be honest with them and who's going to move forward and do things that will actually protect the country from another attack, whether it's a Paris-style yeah. attack or something more like a 9-11. And clearly Donald Trump is saying that he wants to put people's safety first um, and above everything else. And that is clearly getting him attention. Excuse yep. me. Thank you very much, ladies. Thanks, Great to Martha. see you both. Thanks, Martha.